got is I can play them all equally as badly. <laughs> I was going to say, they're all spoons. <laughs> they're all spoons. Hey, hey, I can play the spoons and the washboard. Yeah, there we go. Stop yeah. man. Stop man. I, uh, when I was younger, my parents made me play the flute and I have a core memory of having to stand up in front of my primary school and play We All Stand by the wonderful Paul McCartney and it oh. felt like it took seven hours to get through it. Oh, dear. I've never picked up a wind instrument since. Flutes, flutes, and flutes are not so bad, are they? Because you're blowing across. That's just. I, I, I remember trying to blow uh, my my one my, one of my girlfriends a long time ago. Used to play clarinet. Oh, they're and really hard to play. They really are hard to play. Yeah. I could not get a reed instrument to control. Yeah. Or a trumpet, um, like a trumpet, you need so much force. I used to play the trumpet. Did you? Yeah, a long time ago at school, I used to play the trumpet. It's got more layers to you than an onion. I, I used to play, oh yeah, well, at school, that was a, like a, a lifetime ago. Um, so I haven't played a trumpet since I was at school, cornet trumpet. I used to have a trumpet. My mum gave, gave, sold or gave my trumpet away, so I was very disappointed with that. Such a mum uh, thing to do. Um, yeah. Anyway, what if we, we're going to go to the winners soon enough, but... Tell me, what can people win? What can they still enter? Hey, well, what I can see, what I can see, what I can see, what there is a live, at long last, a free entry um, gift voucher, £100 gift voucher to spend at Master of Malt. I still see that's live. I can see a 42-year-old 1977 Glenn Farkless. Um, <laughs> Worth more than four thousand four hundred pound, it says on here. So there's a forty-two year old Glenn Farkless. That would be nice. Nineteen seventy-seven. Oh, yeah. Things were still good. A forty-year-old Ben Romack. Uh, I've tried some old Ben Romacks and they've been spectacular. So that would be good. That's two thousand four hundred ish. Um, uh, Corvoisier cognac, Mizanawa. So that's a bit unusual putting um, a cognac in Mizanawa, which is Japanese water oak. Uh, a 21 year old Hibiki, uh, blended <laughs> Japanese whiskey. That'd be rather tasty. Uh, just eight pound a ticket, um, 1450 at least. Um, there's a cracking collection of five darkness whiskies up for grabs just six for over a thousand pounds worth of whiskey so this is whiskey that we've part of the atom group uh the whiskey team have put into different sherry casks so follow oh. those pedro Jimenez, maybe some fino amontillado i'm looking at the colors there i'm saying there probably is something like a fino there uh, oh. which is good um, what else is up there? I just seen a load of new ones go up there. But there's a red breast, 22 year old, a Tamdu, which is a space I just so you don't see an awful lot of, but a 50 year old. Oh my god! Um, a Northport, which is a long closed distillery, 40 year old Northport Bracken. Uh, that's up there. There's a complete. It looks like a complete Glen Goyne collection. Glen Goyne is that. A distillery that's right on the Highland Line. So they always tell that story when you go to Glen Goyne that their warehouses are in the lowlands and their distilleries in the highlands because <laughs> the A90 or whatever yeah, it is, the old Burnfoot Road. Um, there's another 33 year old Glen Bergie up there. There are some, what's that one? Jose Curve? Is that tequilas and mezcal? Looks like old tequilas I there. I think it is. Um, and an old rum from a caroni that's just gone up by the looks of things. That's new. Lots of things have sold out. Oh, this sounds uh, lots like... of things sold out. Um, I was just going to go and look for if there's any new photos because I didn't check if there's any new. Ooh, oh, let's have a look. Oh, there's a lovely little baby involved with the Dalmany thirty-year-old. He's got the dad holding the baby. Um, oh. yeah, happy face. Smiley faces. Um, there's a love. <laughs> there's a man laying down in front of a wood burner with his. Is that a man or there's a lady? A man, lady someone lady. after my own heart. Laying down in front of a wood. I can't see. It's a bit unclear. But laying down in front of a wood burner with a collection of Ardbegs. Yeah, very nice. Thank you very much for the pictures. Congratulations to all of the winners. Congratulations, all winners. Talking of winners, shall we see who's won this week? 
All right, let's do that. We've got nine lots to get through. Um, and I'll say there's lots because there's a collection of six. There's also a collection of seven and a collection of three. So in a, there's a, a lot more than just nine bottles of whiskey, rum or cognac coming our way. So, yes, mm -hmm. let's, get the first one up. let's go to right at the top of the shop. Let's go to the Orkneys for this 34-year-old from 1988 from the Scapa Distillery. Scapa, uh, one of the two sort of big, there's three distilleries on Orkneys now, I think. Highland Park is the one you always think of. Scapa was the one that was sort of hanging around for a bit and grown at long last. I think it was closed, mothballed for a few times. Uh, it used to be run by the Highland Park team, but this will cost you over a grand if you wanted to buy one, and I think our tickets were just seven pounds. So let's pick a winner. Bargalicious. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Eyes down looking. And away. Andrew, congratulations. That scapa will be winging its way to you as fast as the warehouse elves can get them into the boxes and out the door. There you go. Don't forget to send your pictures when you get them because we want to see your happy little faces. Happy whiskey-filled faces. Bonus points for dogs in uniforms. Um. <laughs> dogs in uniforms, cats in berets. Uh, yes, berets. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Lovely little chic cat. That's what I like—a cat in a beret. My uh, friend's got a little uh, tuxedo that she puts on one of her cats, which is no way. Delightful. It's delightful. I I had a visit from the grand dog yesterday. He came round. He, he goes oh. for a walk. Did he, he have his little? Uh, did he have his cheese? Cheese. He had a sandwich as soon as he came. I made him a sandwich when he came round. He pulls his mum and his dad this way. He knows where we live and he won't <laughs> go. He'll stand at the bridge. And this is from a park half a mile away. Oh, my God. He's like, half I a mile away. He, he, he will not go past this bridge. He will just sit there. Just, okay, if you're not taking me to see my grandparents, I'm going to right. I'm not I'm going just... anywhere. I can wait. Oh, Rocco, <laughs> it's his first morning in doggy daycare this morning. Oh. Ah. <laughs> He just went into doggy daycare. He didn't even look back. I was like, oh, my gosh, I've got to be careful. He's made a little friend called Frank as well, which is adorable. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, he's oscar has got a few friends. But I think it's really clever how they know where we – I mean, he only comes and stays with us, I don't know, once a month maybe. But he, he knows, knows where, the highlight where of his to month. Yeah, That's incredible. Just <laughs> stops, won't move unless he comes here. So yeah, cat turned up. My daughter turned up with him last night, and then had to call her partner to come and pick them up, take them home. Because <laughs> he wouldn't leave. No. <laughs> oh, what are these fantastic bottles. Okay, well, this is a collection of six cognacs. So this is. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got any cognacs, this is the prize to win because there are six here from Camas, uh, Corboisier, Enesi, Martel, Maxime, and Reni Mata. So, yeah, plenty of, um, yeah, over, almost over £900 worth of cognac here, just £6 a ticket. Let's, um, let's give it away. Let's blink and give it away. Let's find a winner for this. Here we are. Come on, this could be the start of the Cognac collection. Hopefully, they've got a shelf big enough. Is this the start of your Cognac collection, John? Or is it the next chapter in it? Do you want to send us a photo surrounded by all your cognacs? Maybe like in American be. Beauty style, where she's got like rose petals coming down, but you're actually in a bed of cognac. <laughs> well, like a, like a fan around a headdress laying down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure, John. No pressure. <laughs> uh, let's do that. There we go. Okay. Right. What do we do next? Let's have a look. Ah, okay. So this is a 25-year-old boar. 
It's a single cask. It's from uh, an independent bottler called Signatory Vintage, their cask strength collection, distilled in 1997. Good year. A good year. That was a, a good, good year. year. My little, little one was born. My last full year in the Far East. Oh. So this okay. 25 years in an Oloroso sherry butt, just 616 bottles were taken from it after 25 years. So it's lovely decanter looking bottles. These are, I must admit, I can never throw these signature vintage decanters away. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. We use them for a little water carafe or a wine carafe. Ooh. for a little bottle. What do you do? Anyway, what let's pick do? a winner. Let's see who the winner is. So this was just five pound a ticket for over six hundred and fifty pound bottle of whiskey. Amazing more, whiskey, more, at more. even more amazing price. <laughs> Alex B, congratulations! Congratulations, Alec. I know an Alec B, Ooh. but Thank I don't you. know if it'd be the same one. I used to work with an Alec B a long, long time ago. Oh, there you go. imagine. Imagine hey. if it was that one. That'd be Is cool. You, Alec B? Let us know. I haven't, yeah, I haven't spoken to them for a long time, I must admit, because, uh, yeah, it's, I think. Ah, right. Well, we got we got the rum coming up now, and this is a collection I do know. In fact, I've even got some samples in front of me on my desk because I haven't tasted. Ooh, it. what is your rum of choice from Boutique? Oh, there's, there's, oh man, there's there's so mm -hmm. much good stuff here. There's a closed distillery in here. There's a beautiful Haiti fifteen year old. There are two stunning Dutch um, rums from everybody's favourite distiller. Uh, Flying Dutchman, eight-year-olds, one in Pedro Jimenez and one in, is it Pedro Jimenez and one in Oloroso, I think, on these ones. I mean, it's a superb collection. Um, there's a blended rum from Jamaica, 14-year-old, that is just, just delicious. Oh, so much good stuff in here. Uh, five pound a ticket, um, 500 pounds worth of rum, seven <laughs> bottles. You are Absolutely lucky. Absolutely insane. Prize. Can we see who the winner is? Let's do it. Let's do it. I've evolved my rum palette as well. Now the mini galaxy eggs, I think, go better with rum than chocolate. Orange. Oliver C. Congratulations. Congratulations, Oliver. There is Let a us know what your uh, your dram of choice is from this lineup, Oliver. Oh, there's so much good stuff there. Everyone just flies. I mean, if you want to watch the boutique video, you're the, the, the tasting order. I think Pete's got that just about right when we were doing it with the whiskeys a little while ago. Just Amazing. superb. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, what's up next? Ah, oh, this is exciting. I quite like the look of this. I much would, um, I quite like the uh, Royal Bracklers and I've been fortunate that I have tasted all of these in the past. Um, where are they from? Tell me some more info on these little um, beautiful bottles. One of, uh, Diageo, not Diageo, sorry. This is one of um, uh, yeah, 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 the Kogelaki team, Dewar's, Dewar's team. Um, Aberfeldy was their sort of flagship distillery and they had five other distilleries that weren't doing anything and then they brought them together in 2014 as the last great malt. So they brought things like Kogelaki to market. They brought Royal Brackler, Macduff, um and the oh, other they one. Mac they eat Mac Duff. interesting so this is a collection of royal brackler um and it's a trio of sherried malt so there's a 12 year old oloroso sherry cask finish an 18 year old palacatado sherry cask finish i do like a palacatado i must admit and then a 21 year old it just says sherry cask finish so i guess that's a a marriage of Oloroso and probably Pe Pedro Jimenez. So, yes, mm -hmm. um, I think this is pretty cool. Just five pound a ticket over 400 pounds worth of whiskey. Um, yeah, nice little collection there of Royal Brackler. Mm, let's see who's won this little uh, trilogy. Little Here trilogy. We Here we go. Trilogy. Very trilogy. I know 
off their best as well. <laughs> You I don't even know these days. Is, is it suddenly like, oh, Philip S., I know you. I remember you. Invite me around to have a little taste of your whiskey. I'm sure there are lots of Philip S.'s around, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the likelihood of being one of my pals. Well, it's you never could know. be quite high, though. It could be quite high. Well. Yeah, it could be if these are all whiskey fans who are entering this competition, that would be cool, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah, I guess they are if they're entering. I would hope so. <laughs> right. We next? Well, we're going to go to India to a distillery called Ooh. Paul John, who really did come onto the scene quite strong in 2014 and been growing ever since. Uh, Paul John Mithuna whiskey. I like Paul John whiskey. It's a little bit different. And, and they, they're they not trying to be Scotch. They are very much Indian whiskey. And they're made with a... A different style of barley so then you know modern barley is is two row barley so there's a row of kernels along each side but mod this is old style barley six row barley um so there's six grains around so if you cut slice it across there's like six grains around the, the central slope so it's a much oilier spirit a much maltier spirit it really does give a big rich multi-spirit so this is from their zodiac range and Mithuna as being india's counterpart to gemini um most of their stuff is matured in first fill american oak um or first fill x bourbon and sometimes they've been using sherry but the, the color that they get from these new uh oak casks and um first fill bourbon is, is superb it's a really big powerful whiskey and this has been bottled at cast strength 58 and they have such a high angel share there and because of its weather climate there they sometimes lose more water than alcohol so the abv sometimes mm -hmm. goes up higher yeah. over time which is quite interesting anyway that is interesting. the environmentals i always find the environmentals of whiskey production very intriguing and interesting I we we bottled some uh, lovely Paul Johns and I've tasted some fabulous Paul Johns. Let's see who's taking Paul John home. This little Paul John home today. Take Here we this go. little bottle of Paul John home. Let's see. Congratulations. Congratulations, Scott. The Paul John will be winging its way to you soon. Coming home to you, yeah. Okay. Oh, what's up next? Up next, we're going to go to a closed distillery. So this is a 35-year-old Dumbarton from 1987. It's a single cask, um, one of Duncan Taylor's, an independent bottler, so the octave. So they've taken a cask and put it into an octave. Um, and this has been treated, it'd be a sherry finish, I'm pretty certain, for the colour on that 35-year-old Dumbarton. It was a grain distillery uh, from Glasgow that closed in 2010, I think 2008, 2002. Port Dundas closed in 2010, I think this is a little bit earlier, Dumbarton. Long gone, uh, long gone now, I think they even demolished the old tower that the grain, that was, that was the one sitting Dumbarton Rock for a long time. I think it's all a new housing estate now. Don't even get me started on that topic of conversation. <laughs> That's not for this live. That is for um, sitting down having some whiskey. <laughs> I, we, we had a lot of grain distilleries, and um, I think we had 12 at the time. And uh, some of them just couldn't, you know, it was too expensive to modernise them. So unfortunately, they went this distillery used to have a, a flock of geese guarding it dumbarton well, geese their guard geese are terrifying and amazing <laughs> there used to be a flock of geese guarding the dumbarton distillery i've got a story about it somewhere down here all right oh, very interesting the home of valentine uh, let's see who's gonna win this geese guarded bottle yeah, yeah, they would have seen the geese like this. This was yeah. the geese would have let this this bottle through. Congratulations! Congratulations, Owen. Uh, the old Dumbarton single grain will be heading your way. That was uh, say from their octave, so just eighty bottles out of an octave. 
Um, so not an awful lot of it around. And it's liquid history because it was a close to stories. It can never be repeated anyway. Okay, we've got the last two now. We're moving swiftly on. Um, we've got a, I, 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 we haven't got an Ardbeg in this. There isn't an Ardbeg in this lab, but we've got a Dalmore, which is sort of the next. A different one. Song. A different one. Uh, I love the Dalmore. stag on this. I love the, the stag icono iconography that they always feature. I don't think it's as pretty as our stag, but there you go. Look at it. Look I think it's, it's like... different. I think our stag is very <laughs> handsome. Yeah, this is very elegant. This 12 pointer here and protected, very much protected by Dalmore. And it, they are beautiful looking bottles. This is a 25 year old Dalmore. It's, um, yeah, it's always a, a, aged in a pretty intriguing array of casks. They use lots of different casks, including some of these really old Matusalem Oloroso sherries. So he really does, does like these. Richard Patterson is their sort of master blender for all of these old Dalmores, and he really does, does like those old sherry casks. Um, yeah, so something like this would cost you well, well over a grand. Um, just always blows my mind how if you think it, like it's 25 years old, this liquid. What was right. happening 25 years ago? I think it was the 90s. It was the 90s. No, it wasn't the 90s. It was the 80s. Was it? Hang on a minute. Where am I going with this? No. It was, it was only the 90s. It was only the 90s. It was only the 90s. It was the end of the 90s 25 years ago. I had a very long morning. I'm so stressed about Rocco's <laughs> first day at daycare. I, I, my beard was a little Where bit am shorter. I? Oh. <laughs> the beard was just a little bit shorter 25 years ago. Right, let's pick a winner. Who is going to win this delicious bottle today? Tim! You won. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tim. Taking this little 12 pointer home. Delicioso. Okay, so we're on for the last one of today's draw. It's a biggie. Big it is a big one, yeah. It's a 1988 Glengarry. It looks like a Glengarryock, but it's pronounced Glengarry, I'm told. Mm. Um, a little town of Old Meldrum in Aberdeenshire. Beautiful little town. Lovely, lovely. I remember going there once upon a time and a little bit early for my appointment at the distillery. So I just went into the little community cafe and it was busy in there and, and people said it was you know you couldn't get a table so oh no come come and join us we'll be going in a minute and yeah just go and chat to the local it was lovely mm. nice for a nice bowl of warm soup hot soup and a cup of tea um just while i was waiting to kill some time before heading to the distillery to meet the uh, the old distillery manager there glen geary 30 year old and from an independent bottle at can more this is old school Glengarry. It's one that really floats my boat, old school Glengarry. It's when they still used to have a floor maltings and they used to use a little bit of Highland peat and it's always comes across as absolutely delicious. Oh, amazing. This was our big one. It would cost you over two and a half thousand pound a bottle because this is a single cask, I think it is. Yeah, single bourbon barrel for a whopping mm. 32 years. Um, yeah. Let's see who this winner is. It's a big one. It will be delicious. I want some. I'm dribbling now just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha! Congratulations. Ooh. Congratulations, Lovely. Samantha. Samantha. That's fantastic. Well done, Samantha. That's uh, a great one. And um, let me let me tell you, God, yeah, I want to share that with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's delicious. I got a thirty-three year old down here. We can we can we can compare notes. Have a little swap. Have a little well, swap scheme. I remember finding a thirty-seven year old uh, in in, um, in Japan when I was out there in a little bar. An old thirty-seven year old. It made it did bring a tear to my eye. It was so good. Oh, you love those old Glengarry's. It is a particular favorite. 
Aye. Okay. Easter's coming up. What is going to be your dram of choice over this weekend? Easter. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. I've got a four-day weekend, haven't I? It's a four-day week and a four-day week next week. I've Excellent. got a five-day weekend because I'm actually taking Thursday off as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I've got... I, I didn't because it's school holidays, so I'm, I'm, I've got a week off at, after school holidays. Nice. So I've, um, I've booked a little cottage up in, in the Pink District to go walking for a week. Oh, I'm going to tap you up for some inspiration because I'm going to go there in May. Yeah, well, I've, I haven't been there since, oh, quacky. I would have been in my 20s, I think, the last time I really? went to Really? Oh, you're going to have such a nice up. time. Matlock and everything. So yes, it is. It is really pretty there. I've got a, I've got a distillery to go and see. I've got a whiskey shop to go and see. Yeah, busman. Oh, ah, send them across to distillery. Yeah, I'll be going to see Max at White Peak. I'm looking forward to going right. dropping in on that's on the way up. So I will drop into there and hopefully, I, hopefully I can drop in another distillery, a rum distillery on the way home. I want to drop into Drop Works as well. I've got to get a message over to them and see if I can pop in for a cuppa on the way home. Oh my uh, goodness! Send these to uh, me as well, and I can basically just completely copy your route and your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the end of today's draw. Winners will be contacted this week. Uh, we can't wait to send out those prizes, and we seriously, really do look forward to seeing happy faces alongside of those prizes. And we'll feature on our web page, and I do like looking at that and checking. I yeah. love seeing cats and dogs, and now there's a little baby. I mean the yeah, the co there's a lot of competition for the best pictures. The wood burner looks pretty good too. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We can't do that. We'd be so hard to choose. Everyone would win. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I'm going to try and so stop frowning. Well, you well, you'll be here next week on Tuesday. I'll be here next week on Tuesday. Oh, I thought you'd booked a five day weekend. No, Thursday I'm off. Uh, off. Ah, wasn't listening properly. Either. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. When you Goodbye, message me everybody. and I'm like, I'm on holiday, it's fine. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. Enjoy your Easter eggs. Easter drink.